Okay, we're at 2,165. I have it on slow fire, so it could go, wow, it could go a lot longer. Let me show you my chart. On my wall here, I have a chart that says what degree, uh, I don't know them by heart. Um, so 2165 is cone six. <gasps> Wait a second, didn't they just say? 2165, it's at cone six right now. Well, hold on, let me go check something else. Hopefully I'm not making you sick. Okay, 2165 is if it's ramped rate, 27 degrees Fahrenheit per hour. Golly, I don't know if that's what it's doing or not. What's the next one? 2232? Uh, 2269. I'm not sure how much if it goes 108 degrees per hour. It's at slow, so maybe it's at... Maybe it's 2165 I'm shooting for. We'll just have to see. Okay, I know this is getting tiring. For me, it's been a few hours. <clears throat> it's like 1.15 in the afternoon, but... 818. 818. Ah, I'm so tempted. I'm not even going to crack that puppy open. I don't want to ruin them. Anyway, patience. We are at 87 degrees now, and it's okay for me to open the kiln, so let's see what's in there, huh? Boom, 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 boom. Let's see how it did first. That's cone six, and that would be cone seven, so it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Hooray! Now I know what you can't see. I have some samples here. These are some glazed samples that I have. And you can't see them because it's so dark in my shop. It's nighttime and I can't open my door. So anyway, I'm just gonna grab these. Oh, that one's pretty. Which one is that? Textured moonstone. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Oh, and you know what? I'm a bad girl. Why didn't I kiln wash these? Because I haven't had to kiln wash them ever! Oh well, that one dripped like a mad thing. And it looks like it dripped on other cups too, so... Let me just get these guys out of here. And I'll show you what I got. And here is the second layer. And I have to tell you, I ruined some of the top layer. I'm so disappointed. Um, I didn't kiln wash my shelves, and some of them ran a lot. I don't remember them running so much, but, uh, yeah, well, I haven't used them that often, but here we go. This is the second shelf. Okay, here are the fired goods. Now, when you look at them, everything just really looks cool, but there's a lot of problems with these babies, and I'm so disappointed in myself that I forgot the most important major thing I did not, I didn't kiln wash the shelves, and a lot of these stuck to the shelves, and it ruined the bottom. They actually just took out chunks of the foot, and um, I'm going to try and uh, grind them and make them, make them usable like this. See this guy right here? I don't know how you can see it, but he's really chunked up. And this one turned out great. I mean, it looks real awesome. This is a fern mist. Look what happened. It took a whole chunk out of the bottom there. So, yeah, I don't know. I have to fix a lot of them. This one turned out great, this fern mist one. But it bubbled. It bubbled. There's a little bit of bubble right here. And there's also some bubbling inside here. Now, I don't know if I can fix it by refiring it. So that means I'm going to have to grind the bottom and refire. I'm not quite sure. This is... Um, yeah, that was dipped in, this was dipped in white. So, that kind of made a great look. The, the interesting one was this. This one was the, um, I can't remember the name of it, is it right there? Uh, mint, what is it? Okay, this was the, the mint Irish cream. And what I did with that is I just kind of dipped it and I let it 
uh, it was messed up here when I put it in, but it actually looks pretty neat fired. Uh, the inside, I don't know if you can see the inside. But I dipped half of this handle, if you'll remember, I dipped half of this handle in white. And white over the Irish, uh, the Irish cream looks good. The Celadon turned out so much better than it ever has before. It hasn't had a chance to crack yet, and it will. But I did the white interiors, and the bottoms came out great. And I mean, these ones look pretty nice. This one looks really neat, because some of the white is over the Celadon. This is another one of those bottoms that just didn't make it. Oh, I hope I can fix that. If I can't fix it, it's still part of the project. It's not like I'm, you know, it belongs to a customer or anything. <laughs> uh, this one I thought turned out great. These are the Chino cups. This one turned out awesome. The beige here is not the clay. The beige is the Chino over the white. And I got some really great effects with it. This one, well, <laughs> this one is a mess up only because, look, oh, I missed a spot. I don't know how I did that. That's a, that's a huge spot. I should have seen that when I was dipping, but I didn't. And this is, I had had a, a vase like this one time before, and I thought, oh, I'm going to try and dip it the same way again. And it worked out great. This is, the white on all of these cups turned out really nice. Uh, same with this beige. That's just the chino over the white. That's not bare clay. And, yeah, I think that looks really good. Um, this guy right here, this was the one I was interested to see how it would turn out. I did some wacky dipping, and it, it does. It has special effects, which was the whole idea. I wanted it to be chunky and messy and rustic. Rustic. This, I, I hadn't stirred it before I dipped it. I dipped it, and then I went back and dipped it in the... The, some stuff floats to the top. I don't know exactly. Some of the chemical floats to the top. And I just dipped it in that chemical. And it turned out really awesome. It gave it a neat special effect. I like it anyway. Awesome for me. Okay. Let's move down here a little bit. Some of these guys here. These ones are supposed to be blue. This is my blue... Um, my blue, blue riddle. Rudel. And here is that extremely drippy hand-painted glaze that I put on the edge and I put on here. And it drips. It's not so bad when it drips here, but there's a little drip mark on the bottom here. But this cup, I glazed all, the, the canakin, I glazed all in that textured, oh, I'll have to get you the name of it. I'll post it on there. But look what happened. It is so drippy. It just ruined the bottom of my cup. I'm so disappointed. Maybe I can file it or something. I don't know. But see, there's even a drip mark hanging down from the end here. I had no idea. I'd never used the glaze before. I should have probably just tested it first before I put it on an actual cut, but disappointed. This olive, oh, this olive, this oil spot turned out great. This usually is my least favorite glaze. It just doesn't work. But it gave it a nice uh, special effect on the outside, and it did it on top of the handle. This is actually a nice usable cup. My, my tin maku came out really nice. I like how this turned out. It's smooth. It's kind of a matte texture. I like that. Same with this little guy. I don't know. I think he's cute. Same with this one. This one came out nice, too. For, to me, I, I really like it. I'll tell you, I like it. Some of you are going to say, ew, that's nasty. And some of you are going to say, oh, that's cute. But, um, yeah, these are the ones I like. This cup... I, I had hand painted before in uh, a lime green color and I had put uh, that pewter on the outside and I realized oh I don't want that to be blotchy so I just dipped it in white before before I, I stuck it in the kiln so it came out a little different than I expected but it's still it's still pretty cute I like it you know the strange thing the cups that I was doing for myself the extra cups turned out really good and I'll show them to you okay these are some of the extra ones that I made just for me, I had made a, a cylinder, well, this is the second one I made on the 30th, and uh, I made a funky handle for it, and it, it fits great, look at your fingers go right in there, just, it's a great little cup. These are all supposed to be blue, they're supposed to be the blue rutile, 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 you know what, I should show you the inside of this one, I don't know if you can see it, 
but on this cup it is a little bit blue but I don't think you can see it is a little bit blue in there um, here's another Chino it's a little bowl I made Chino bowl this cup turned out so stinking cute it really did just what day did I do this one on the 17th I did this one on the 17th but yeah, these aren't part of the, the project because I didn't show you how I threw them and how I made the handles. And this one right here, this one, where did I do this one? 31. Yeah, I did this on the 31st. And I just painted it that lime green. This one's going in the house with me right now. <laughs> I need a cup. Anyway, just thought I'd share with you all the things that were glazed today. And uh, yeah, so hope you enjoy.